Hey, what's going on guys? Semony in here, and today I'm showing off my uh, factory base remodeled. Let's get into it, shall we? So, I've made some additions from the last factory ba base video that I uploaded. So, first things first, you can see their first and second edition, and third editions right here. So, the first thing we have is our player decontaminator. Next thing we have is our steel crate for storage of any of your irradiated items that you might bring in from the radioactive wasteland that will be out there. Uh, we have two of those. Next we have our big fire door. This is pretty much our airlock right here. And of course we have our missile over here. With a uh, specifically designed room for it. We switched it out for an incinerary missile for a uh, future video. But that's that. Look how nice that is. Straight to the sky. <laughs> Alright, there's that. Close that back up. Over here we have our nuclear furnace and our nuclear blast furnace. With some storage for that as well. So you can store your radioactive elements there. <clears throat> Over here we have electric furnaces. Two of those with the hopper running into one big chest. Or small chest, really. All right, so we have that. So we have elite irradiation absorbers scattered throughout here to uh, make sure you don't get radiation from any explosion that might happen. Over here we have three spark energy storage blocks, which is absolutely absurd. This is more power than you would possibly ever need. These are for a backup, so like if your generator generators break or your off-site energy provider. If that ever goes down, you still have power. Next, we have our little, like, hub area right here. You can pretty much do anything with this area. Over here, we have our storage room, which is pretty nice. Look at this. We got plenty of storage. Another one of those radiation absorbers, obviously. And last but not least, we have our generator room. So over here in our generator room, we have two backup generators, diesel generators. It's run by mufflers, so you don't hear the constant ticking these bad boys make, or knocking, whatever it is. With a big diesel uh, tank here, which is very nice. <clears throat> Another cool thing we have, though, is our off-site power uh, production area. This is not finished yet, so that is a part two to this video. But over here we have our electricity pole that connects it with, with a cable into this area here, which then connects to our main power grid in there. So that's that. All right, so let's say there's a fire going on in the d generator room, all right? So, oh no, there's a fire, whatever do we do? So this little remote here actually closes every door in the facility one click. So that is just, that is great. So like, if there was like an intruder, like somebody trying to break in or something, you just also could do that. Or if you just come in from the outside world and you want to uh, not have to open up the fire doors every five seconds. This little remote is your friend. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.